are watching The Jenny Lynn Show, and I am Jenny Lynn Glebe, your host. I recently had the pleasure and the privilege to be invited by Dr. Lee and his staff at Fast Hospital in Gansho, China, an invitation that I gladly and happily accepted. And I am so thrilled because I have amazing footage to share with you about Fast Hospital in Gansho, China, Dr. Lee and his staff. Please stay tuned and continue to watch this video because not only are you going to get glimpses of Fast Hospital, but you will get to accompany Dr. Lee in his operating room while he performs a full face fat grafting operation. Yes. Dr. Lee, yeah. Welcome. I thank you. I have the privilege of joining you in your operation shortly. Yeah, you are. Welcome, and I just did the last consultation with my patient. Yeah, in five minutes, she will go in the operation. We will get the fat grafting procedure. And I'd like to introduce my last consultation with my patient. And I think it's very important to the operation. I told you, as a good plus a surgeon should be should be somewhat like an art artist, yeah. Right. But there's some difference between them. I must know what my patient want. I must do. I must give her the result, and the result must be he she want. Yes. But it has to be a realistic yes. expectation, right? Yes. Because I'll, you can't work magic. Yes. Yeah, I'll give her a correct expect, expectation. Expectation. Expectation, yes. 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 Uh, I just talked to her and we want to use fat grafting to add fullness in the forehead okay. and, and fullness in the temporal area. Okay. And I want to enhance the nose and the chin. Okay. He want he want to get a a small face, a narrow face, yes. But I can't cut the the bone here. Right. Uh, oh, in the past time I also do this operation, but this this operation mm, injured a lot. And I will enhance the nose and the chin okay. and make the nose and chin look more beautiful. And it sh I can get, get a relative result that the face looked not so big. Right. And I will do, I will use liposuction to reduce this area. Yeah. Will she see a significant change? Yes. She will? Yeah, okay. yes. This, I, what I want to do is he want, is he, t she, tell, she told me she want, yes. And this design, I told, told her, and this is the last time consultation, and now we can go in the operation room. And then you can show us what you're going, what you're telling us. Yes. Uh, and in the operation room, I mark what I will do in on the face. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ah, thank you. I can't wait. Yes, thank to you. See it. Yes. Okay. Are you as excited as we are? <laughs> yes. <laughs> At this time, Doctor Lee is charting the course for his work. He is marking the patient's face and the areas that he will be working on. And now the patient has been anesthetized and she is asleep as the surgical team are preparing for her surgery. The doctor has just prepared the area on her thigh that they are going to be harvesting the fat from. This patient did not have as much fat on her abdomen, so they are harvesting the fat from her thigh. 
the site was injected and as you can see they are extracting the fat and it's coming up through this needle and into the syringe that's attached to I guess it's a cannula. The fat has been harvested and Dr. Lee is now injecting her forehead with the fat as she wanted to have a fuller forehead. So at this time he is injecting her forehead with the fat. Um, And now he is filling her orbital canals with some of the fat that's been harvested. And if you keep watching, it doesn't look very good, but I'm sure in the end she's going to be very happy. He's now injecting her nose. She wanted her nose enhanced, the bridge of her nose, and so he is now um, using his cannula and filling the bridge of her nose as he is crafting it with his finger simultaneously. It's very impressive to watch Dr. Lee and his team. They have clearly done thousands of these surgeries. It just seems like nothing to them. After the fat was harvested, it was prepared. And everyone has a job to do, and everyone is doing it very well, so everything is flowing smoothly. So as the fat has been, was extracted, there's another nurse who was preparing the fat. Um, so it was ready to be injected. And like Dr. Lee told us, he separates the bigger globules from the smaller globules because when he injects, he injects the smaller globules in the shallower spaces and the bigger globules in the deeper spaces. Now he is about to do the liposuction on the side of her face because she thinks her face was too round and she wants it slimmer. And like he explained to us earlier, he cannot cut her jaw because I guess it's been done in the past and it's caused problems. So in order to reduce the size of her face, he is currently performing liposuction. And in this case, he's not filling, but he's withdrawing um, fat. And just keep looking and you will see for yourself um, exactly what he's doing. I must admit, standing here watching, it looks so barbaric. But the amazing thing is, I see no bruising. I guess the cannulas, um, and because he has so much experience, he knows exactly how to avoid that. And the patient is sound asleep and very much unaware of what's happening. It's amazing to watch the reduction occurring as he's removing the fat. I guess we have a lot of fat. And Dr. Lee reminded me, it's not such a bad thing. It's a gift from God, our fat is. I guess we shouldn't have too much of it. That's 
that's the trick. I must admit, since I've been hanging out here in Gonshou at this hospital, I realize if you have no fat, this is one procedure you cannot have done. So, not telling you to go and harvest a bunch of fat all over your body, but clearly some fat will work to your benefit if you ever decide that you want to have a full face fat grafting procedure done. As you can see, the liposuction of her face is taking time as Dr. Lee continues to achieve the result she wants, the slimmer jaw. I'd love to have this done to my face. Then I can eliminate some of the fat on my abdomen. I love the spirit of teamwork in this operating room. I think it's a great example of how much we can accomplish when we work as a team. Dr. Lee is now injecting her chin as she also wants a longer chin. I cannot wait to see how it's all going to come together at the end and how she will look tomorrow. Hopefully you have enjoyed watching this even though it looks barbaric and there's been a lot of injecting, lipoing and extracting. It's still exciting to be in the operating room watching since he has been telling me about it for so long. I am very grateful I was able to watch it happen. Dr. Lee, yes. we meet again. Yes, I'm so glad <laughs> to meet you again. <laughs> I am very excited to be here today mm -hmm. because today is following the surgery that we shared with my viewers last night. Yeah. And thank you for allowing me the privilege of being in your operating room. It was really fascinating to watch you at work and to watch how you got the fat and how you changed the face of the young woman that you operated on. I cannot wait to bring her in later today so everyone can see the difference from yesterday before the surgery and less than 24 hours later. Yes. So Dr. Lee, tell us, how do you feel when you walk in after a surgery last night and see your handiwork walking around the office at work? Mm, I'm happy to see the change after fat grafting and uh, I know I do one hour 30 minutes fat grafting instead of a lot of incisional operation and the recovery is very easy and very short. So after you operated on her last night, how long was she detained here in the clinic before she was allowed to go home? Um, after operation, and the patient only need to take one hour rest, uh, stay here in the hospital, and then they can go back. They, they can go direct to the airport and fly back to their home city. And in this case, the patient was one of your staff members. Yes. And she is at work today. Yes, she's working. Now. <laughs> I met her in the hallway and I asked her, do you have any pain? And she said, no. I asked her, do your thighs hurt? She said, no. I go, does your face hurt? She said, no. That is magic to me because I've worked in the plastic surgery industry. I'm not a plastic surgeon, but I've worked with them and I've had my own cosmetic clinic and there's always evidence of what you've done. Why do you think when you do the fat graft and we've seen how you do it, how do you avoid the patient getting a lot of bruising? Mm. With, with a lot of experience, 
the doctor met can meet bruising not so often and we use plant cannula, cannula yes we use plant cannula and we know well if it, it's easy to occur a, a bruising and well it's not easy to occur bruising very good i was watching you last night and i was looking at how you manipulated the cannulas so clearly you are very familiar with the face and the areas that, like you said, will result in bruising. Does the patient have to do anything in preparation for these surgeries? Mm, they don't need to, to do any preparation, yeah. Uh, health, uh, health people can come here uh, to get the operation. So last night I had the privilege of watching you harvest the fat from the patient's thigh. Mm -hmm and then you separated it so that you had the smaller granules and the larger granules. Yeah. And you used the smaller granules in the shallow areas of the face, and then in the deeper tissue, you put the bigger granules. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. I remembered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so some people um, believe everything is about stem cells today. Everyone thinks all about stem cells for the brain, stem cells for this, stem cells. What, what stem cells are involved in, in the fat grafting, if any? Yes, stem cells is very great cells we found, and it's a very simple, small uh, fat, but it can, can multi, multi multiply, multiply yeah. and uh, it can uh, grow and become many, a huge number, okay. and it can uh, secrete many factors, uh, such as growth, many growth factors. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very important in the fat grafting. Without stem cell, we cannot do fat gra grafting, yes. Um, and stem cells <coughs> bring us the result by fat grafting regeneration. After the whole face fat grafting, we get a regeneration result in the, in the future. And for example, um, wrinkle, wrinkle softened and pore size decreased and pigmentation improved. And it, it can be up to 10 years after fat grafting. Yes. So and that is usually the duration of a procedure. It lasts 10 years. Does it ever last more than 10 years? Yes, I think it, is last, it can last more than 10 years. And the stem cells will be the future in the medical treatment. Yeah, we have the medical treatment from medical, uh, from medicines and from operations. I think in the future, there will be there will be a more a more useful treatment of stem cell treatment well it's natural and i get that i mean what better treatment than to take your own material and replenish what you've lost right because you're not putting foreign material in your body you're putting your own material back yes. into your body to re generate, rejuvenate, and give a youthful appearance. So I thank you very much, doctor. I, I know very soon we're going to bring in the evidence yes. to support everything you're saying, yes. because you did her full face, and we have it all recorded so everyone can look and see what you've done. What is in the future for Dr. Lee? I think the, I think is the fat grafting is very useful. Uh, it will not be changed by other product. And every day I do the same thing, harvesting fat, uh, processing it, and inject it. But for the different case, the different design, how to decide where to inject the fat and how much 
do we need? How much fat we need to inject? It is, it is, it is difficult. It is wonderful. It is uh, interesting. I think the job will be a very great job in the future, and I think I we can do many things in the future about stem cells. Stem cells will change will change the treatment, the medical treatment in the in the future. I think fat grafting bring us bring a a plastic surgeon in a new era. Me? Oh, I have something to tell you about the stem cells okay, the, in, in my job. I, and I can process the 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 fat, the uh, aspi uh, aspi uh, aspiration. No, oh. the, um, I can process the fat, uh, and to separate the stem cells from the the fat tissue, and uh, I, uh, I can use the collagen lace to uh, let the stem cell cell free from the tissue and uh, through uh, centrifuge to get some mm, cells and uh, it named SVF, stroma vascular fractions. And I can get and add the SVF in another uh, fat tissue which prepared to inject that can enhance the result of fat grafting. And we can isolate the fat um, adipose derived stem cells and um, make it become more uh, number and increase it in volume. And I, I, I can use the stem cells to anything. Maybe I can use the stem cell. Now, now I can use the SVF to inject in the skin of the face and to make the face get a rejuvenation and regeneration result, uh, result, uh, uh, Appearance? Yes. Okay. You're also an artist. And I watched you look at the patient's face and you did lipo suction on yes. this portion of her yes. face to slim it. And I'm just gonna summarize this so people watching this interview will understand everything that you did yesterday. Mm, yes. Because while you were performing the operation, you were telling us, but I'm bringing it all together so they can see the whole picture. And when she comes in, they will already know what you did and they look at her. So you did liposuction on her jowl areas yes. mm -hmm. to slim it. Mm -hmm. Then you injected fat in her forehead. Mm -hmm. You did it in her orbital yes. canals. Mm -hmm. You did her nasolabia folds. Mm -hmm. You did her chin. Mm -hmm. you, in, you increased, you yes. improved yes. the appearance of her nose. Yes. So you transformed her entire face mm -hmm. in an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, doctor. You're a genius. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Mm. So I'm looking forward to sharing Dr. Lee's patient with you that he operated on less than 24 hours ago. And you can see for yourself what he's talking about. I am standing in the presence of the woman that was laying on the bed last night when I was in the surgery center with Dr. Lee while he did all of the stuff we were watching. Some of it looked barbaric. Mm -hmm. But look at her now. This is not even 24 hours. Thank you for allowing me to come and interrogate you. <laughs> How do you feel today? She she said everything is good and I uh, today I don't feel any pain and uh, I begin to work. I cannot believe it. I was there and I saw he was poking stuff in every part of your face and you don't even have any bruising. And I can't tell if you're swollen or not, is she? 
Can you uh, tell her what I said? Excuse me? Did you understand what I asked you? Yeah. Do you... You don't have any bruising is what yeah. I'm saying, except you yes, have a little I, bit I, of redness. I find a, li a little bruising here. I do like I do like is this right. area. So that's unavoidable, yes. right? Because mm -hmm. you have... Mm -hmm. So yes. how could you not, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Now, I must ask you this. Did you hurt there on your thigh where they removed the fat? No pain, no pain in the inner thigh. Yes, and how is this possible? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's possible. I was in that room. I was sure today you wouldn't come to work. Is there anything else you want my viewers to know before we wrap this interview up? <laughs> what haven't I asked you that you want people to know? Um, Yes, I, I want the people who want to get some help by plastic surgeon know something about fat grafting and uh, to avoid uh, uh, inj injury by getting um, in pro progress um, by getting a change uh, on her face. And like Dr. Lee has told me since I've been here in China, you have many options to improve your appearance when you age and you've lost mass. But remember, surgeries leave scars and lots of downtime is required to recover, as well as you can get bruised severely. And the foreign products that we inject, the fillers and the Botox, they're all foreign material and they don't last they have a very short lifespan. So when you're ready for improvements, if you can't come to Goncho, <laughs> go online and read why it's better to talk your doctor into doing fat grafting. And if he's confused, tell him contact Dr. Lee. <laughs> Dr. Yes. Lee, thank you yes, so you much. Are welcome. Everybody's welcome. Mm -hmm.